Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. It's that time of the month again. Sony have revealed the six, no, the seven free games we'll be getting as part of PlayStation Plus for the month of July 2017. This time we have three games for the PS4, two for the PlayStation 3 and two for the Vita as well, all of which can be downloaded on Tuesday the 4th of July. Oh, and like usual, one of the Vita games is available on your PS4. This month we have a party title, a horror game, an interactive story and a 2D fighter amongst others. Let's start with the offerings on the PS4. First up is Until Dawn. This is a survival horror title in which you will see so much blood you'll probably throw up. You will be making the decisions for eight high school teenagers who have decided to spend the weekend at an isolated lodge. What could go wrong you may ask? Well, everything, bloody everything goes wrong. Things spiral into chaos, mirroring great horror films like Friday the 13th and the Saw series. This is absolutely brilliant and deserves your time. Metacritic has this one at 80% so you need to try it if you haven't already. Next up is the season pass for Game of Thrones, yet another telltale narrative adventure. In this one you'll be taking charge of a host of characters who have to stand up against Ramsay Snow, cater to the whims of Marjorie and find a way to prepare for winter. If that makes no sense at all, then you probably don't like the TV series Game of Thrones. But those that do will appreciate the way the story ties into the canon. It's sadly not in the same league as the Walking Dead tie-ins, but a solid game nonetheless. Oh, and probably the easiest platinum you will ever receive. Metacritic, 64%. If you've been paying attention during E3, you'll already know the next game on the list for the month. That's you, it's a party game which you play with your mobile phone or tablet, using Sony's new Play Link technology. It's kind of like Buzz Quiz, in which you answer questions, but those questions are designed to make you laugh at one another and interact with your friends in the same room. There's over a thousand questions, so don't expect duplicates right away. The game will also use your phone's camera and your artistic skills. Definitely not one for the hardcore players, but a brilliant introduction to party gaming for up to six players. That's You is brand spanking new, so no reviews available at the moment. Please give me your thoughts once you've had a go. This one will be available to download up until October the 24th. Do me a favour, if you find this video useful, please give a like, even if you hate all the games on the list. Please keep in mind, I'm only reporting back on what the PS Plus games are, and the downvote really hurts the channel. Anyway, that's enough of that, over to the PS3. First up is Tokyo Jungle, which is a survival action game. During story mode, you will complete missions as different animals, in order to find out where the heck all the humans have gone. Ever wanted to be a Pomeranian dog? A beagle, a hyena, or maybe a lion? Well, they're all here in this survival adventure. There's a local co-op element too if you want to see how long you can survive together. It's a very hard game to sell, but Eurogamer and Giant Bomb both gave this one close to top marks. 9 out of 10 and 4 out of 5 respectively. Eurogamer even went as far as calling this GTA with animals. Worth a try? What do you think? Please let me know. Game number 5 is Darkstalkers Resurrection, which is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game on a 2D plane. Playing similar to early Street Fighter or King of Fighters games, this one is trying to bring back retro fighting to the masses. Released back in 2013, so keep that in mind, but it did achieve solid 8s across the board from all the major news outlets. Finally, over to the Vita for two further titles. The first one, Don't Die Mr. Robot, is available on your PS4 too. This is an arcade minigame extravaganza. Score chasing or last second dodging, this one isn't trying to blow your mind, but it has the power to be infuriatingly addictive. It doesn't do much, but what it does, it does well. Metacritic, 76 out of 100. And game number 7 for the month is Elemental, or maybe Elements for Ill. It must be Elemental, right? If you like Loco Roco, this is the pick for you. Beautifully crafted, awesome soundtrack, and just a pleasure to play. This isn't the run of the mill platformer, and many people give up on it a little too early before they get to grips. But when you do, this really is a joy. So that is it, seven titles for the month. I'm looking forward to Until Dawn, and that's you, if I actually had any friends to play with. Oh, and I'll be grabbing Elemental for my Vita too. Anyway, my opinions don't matter. What are you guys going to grab? I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. As always, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.